Chesapeake, Virginia, 1650 AM WHKT presents Sports Scene. Sports Scene features local, regional, and nationally acclaimed guests and excellent interviews. Follow Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick and at GJBTV.com. Now here is Greg Bickavaris. All right. Welcome to Sports Scene on this beautiful April 12th on this Wednesday. Greg Picaveras right here for Sports Scene. We are live as always. Sports Scene is an interview show each Wednesday from 12 to 1. Also invite you to watch sports highlights on NMPSTV.com. Joe Daniel is producing as well. Tell your friends about 1650. Twitter at Greg Bick, at Sports Highlight, at GJBTV and HR Online Mall Com. You can see all of those Twitter handles on the homepage of GJBTV.com. Thank you to our military. Great guest lineup as well. Skeeter Heath, former PGA Tour player. We'll talk about the Masters that just happened this past weekend. Guest lineup presented by Mi Casita Mexican Restaurant with two delicious locations in Virginia Beach. Phone line presented by Outback Steakhouse on Kempsville Road in Virginia Beach. Wizards final stretch to the playoffs. Congratulations to them. Major League Baseball tides all underway. And of course, all the spring sports. Congratulations to Sergio for winning the Masters. Of course, sponsors this month in April. Hard to believe it's already April 12th is Crawl Space Doors, Finks, Me, Hogar, and Newport News Greek Festival as well, which will be going on June 1st to June 4th. Today is Holy Wednesday in the Greek calendar as well. Great interviews, business segments, highlights, commentary, what tees me off. Thank you for making the habit to listen to Sports Scene each week, and we love our regulars and newcomers. Tell your friends as well. Live on the radio in 1650, live on TuneIn at TuneIn.com. Type in WHKT in the search bar. Stay tuned. We'll be back after these messages. When it comes to automobile service in Hampton Roads, Fink's Car Care is the destination locals have counted on for decades. Family owned and operated, they specialize in transmission service, oil changes, state inspection, radiator service, tires, alignments, and showcase win automotive products. Fink's does it all. Military and senior discounts are available. Like them on Facebook and visit them at 2711 Victory Boulevard in Portsmouth. For more, log on to Fink'sCarCare.com and call 485-5555 today. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Catch up on archived editions of Sports Scene by going to gjbtv.com and clicking the YouTube image on the homepage. Now back to Sports Scene on 1650 AM and TuneIn.com. All right, welcome back live to Sports Scene on this Wednesday, April the 12th. Greg Picaveras, glad you're with us live on 1650. TuneIn.com to listen on your phone or your computer by typing WHKT in the search bar. We've had this gentleman on on Sports Highlights. We've had him on Sports Scene at several of the stations I've worked at, including this one, as well as Red Zebra in Virginia Beach. Let's welcome former PGA Tour player from the peninsula, Skeeter Heath. How are you, Skeeter? Greg, I'm doing great. Good hearing from you again. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it was good seeing you a few weeks ago as well, too. Yeah, it was. We ran into each other. i got to tell you, Skeeter, before we talk about the Masters, this is beautiful golf weather today, isn't it? It sure is. Um, you know, it's kind of a different year this year. February was very good you know, for the golf business, and um, but March was a little rough, and they kind of flip-flopped. But now uh, the Masters has been here, and the weather looks good, and the courses are greening up, so uh, hopefully everybody's go we'll start enjoying a little golf and fired up after watching Augusta Sunday. What were your thoughts about Sergio Garcia? He's been so close for several decades, and he finally got the green jacket. That was impressive. It was very impressive, um, I thought, because he kind of he kind of hiccuped, had a couple hiccups during the middle of the round. He, he started out great on Sunday, birdie two of the first three. I mean, he was right on top of his game. He started going along fine, and then he... Um, on 10, he started, you know, hitting some loose shots, and he, he he really got himself in trouble on 10 and 11 and then 12 and then 13 when he drove it in the 
an unplayable lie, and I thought after that he played as good a golf as I've ever seen under those circumstances. I was very impressed with what he overcame to um, to win the tournament. Based on the Masters or the majors that you're seeing today compared to when you were playing, are they tweaking more of the fairway, the greens, the rough? What are they tweaking the most, you, you think? You know, Augusta is a different, it's a different breed. Um, they don't have hardly any rough. Uh, they're, the greens are difficult. They've lengthened the course where the other majors are deep rough, uh, and that's where they, they are different from Augusta. Augusta's wide open. It's a big golf course, and your short game and your approaches to the greens is, is very important in Augusta. It doesn't matter if you hit the green at Augusta. Um, and you kept hearing them talk about at Augusta, you had to have the ball in the right position at that place or you're in very, very – bad situation it's it's easier to make a 20 footer at augusta uphill than it is to make a four or five footer downhill at augusta it's it's a very unique place we're talking to skeeter heath former pga tour player who played in three u.s opens as well and when you talk about some of the americans like dustin johnson and jordan spieth and rose what are your thoughts about these gentlemen as well as fowler as far as the upcoming majors i know the u.s open this year will be in wisconsin you know, Dustin Johnson, to me, um, is playing the best golf of anybody in the world right now. It was a shame about his accident that happened. I think that he would have had a, a very good Masters. Um, and I think that maybe he could have gone on Thursday um, if the weather was like it is today or yesterday. It was 80 degrees and no wind. But, you know, it was very cold. I don't think he could get loose, and I don't think that with playing in the wind like that, you have to hit so many different types of shots um, I don't think that his back was ready for that. But I thought if the weather would have been good, no wind, I think he could have gone, and I think he would have been a contender. Mm-hmm. Even Fred Couples played in, and of course you played against him in some of the majors you played in. Yep, Fred, uh, Fred's, he's unbelievable. He's, uh, you know, he, he plays great at Augusta. You know, he didn't play at all last year because of back problems. It looks like he's back healthy again. He's playing great on the, on the Champions Tour, and he's a great player. And what – what I think is, is fantastic about Fred, if you watched him, how hard the greens are to putt at Augusta. I mean, they're impossible. And the way he putts at his age, at 57, with his nerves, and the, as, as long as he hits the ball at 57, is remarkable. And, and he does a great job. I mean, mm-hmm. he, he's an unbelievable player, and, and he just loves Augusta. Talking to Skeeter Heath, former PGA Tour golfer right here. This is Sports Scene Live right here on 1650 on this April 12th. It is 1214. Good afternoon to everyone. And, of course, uh, you know, this is a great time of the year for golf. And, of course, upcoming you got the um, RBC Heritage. you got the Texas Open. Of course, you got New Orleans. And, of course, you played in Texas before and did pretty well. Yeah, you know, um, they've changed courses since I played there Um now in Texas, and but they're still playing at Harbor Town. You know, Harbor Town's a different type of course than most of them on the tour. It's a lot shorter, but it's very tight. It's really a um, it's a ball strikers course. It's a shot makers course. It's not um, like golf is today. Golf today is all length, and you know, just hit it as far as you can, get it up there, putt it, going about your business. Where Harbor Town is a very tight course. Um, a lot of strategy, small greens, and uh, the guys that win there are the guys that, that are very good ball strikers. And you watch, you'll see a lot of guys that will get that will will not play in that tournament are just long ball hitters. Absolutely, in this this day and age, you have to do well both at long ball. Uh, putting, all that stuff. is so much about accuracy, and it's almost like you have to, with analytics, do you think that's a part as far as golfers and their caddies talking before and trying to map out each course? What is the strategy, and what was your strategy back then? Well, today the game is totally different than when I played. I mean, you know, we never had a guy that averaged over 300 yards per drive during the year when I played. I mean, I think when I was playing – and in, in my prime, I think uh, it was like 285, 290 or something that would win the long, would be the long drive for the year average. Um, now, I mean, they've got, you know, 30 guys that average over 300 yards. Mm-hmm. So it's a totally different game. The game is like like any other sport this day and time. The, it's all speed. Uh, the guys in the, in the NBA, the guys in the NFL, they're faster um, than they were before. Now the people, the players are longer. 
And that's kind of where their strategy is now. Hit it as far as they can and let it go. Now, let me tell you one thing that was very impressive for to me about Augusta and Sergio. Um, Sergio, his weakness is his putting. He putted extremely well. He he missed some putts coming down the stretch, like on 16 and 18. But he, I was very very pleased and and and, and happy for Sergio to putt the way he did coming down the stretch, you know, on 14 and 15. But he hit the ball fabulous. But that was his weakness. And for him to win Augusta when his putter is his weakness is something to be said about his his capability with his ball striking, especially with the conditions on Thursday and Friday, which were very tough. Right. First, you got to make the cut and all the pressures. He had a lot of demons from the past that he came up short as we're talking to Skeeter Heath, former PGA Tour player. Let me ask you about the honor system. You saw some controversy a few weeks on the women's tour on the LPGA. And a lot of times when these golfers are trying to play in these big high-pressure tournaments, you played in several U.S. Opens. The fans are right there on top of you. Now they got camera phones. They see where you put the quarter down, where you position the ball. What are your thoughts about the honor system? And you saw the controversy, like I said, a few weeks ago. Well, let me let me say something about that. That's a very good question about that. I think that Lexi Thompson did not move that ball intentionally. I think that was a very bad ruling. The next thing is four shots is 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 a little over the top in my eyes. But when you look and the next time you watch golf on television, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, when a person marks their ball, they stand directly behind the ball and they put the ball on the coin when they stand directly behind it. They put the coin behind the ball, they pick the ball up, and they go on or wherever they're going. And then they come back, and they put the ball back. Well, if you look where Lexi came, Lexi came in from the side. She came in directly from the side because somebody's line was right behind the ball, and it was not but a 10-inch, 8- to 10-inch putt. So when she put that, she put her coin, she slid her coin up behind the ball from the side. She picked the ball up, put it right back down, and you know, picked it up, put it down, and I'm I'm sure that she could not see that angle of her moving the ball a quarter of an inch from the angle that she was standing, because you're so used to lining, marking your ball directly behind it. Mm-hmm. Then when you come from the side, put your coin up, put it back down. You know, I think it was just an honest mistake. Uh, first thing is, what advantage is she getting from eight to ten inches? Mm-hmm. What what advantage is she getting? For people to start calling in is like the other day. I think that they called in on Sergio Sergio on 13. Somebody called in about when he moved the pine needles that they thought the ball moved. Well, here's somebody sitting, you know, in their living room and watching the Masters and say, oh, I think the ball moved, and they call back in. Well, you know, if they go to Sergio and say, hey, look, We've got a ruling that we're looking at on 13, and he's right in the, in the middle of the, you know, right in the hunt, right in the toughest part of the tournament, coming down the stretch. And then they've got some guy that's a Monday morning quarterback sitting at home, and he's going to say, well, they looked at it and they showed that he didn't, it didn't move. Right. So, you know, so it's gotten totally out of hand. And you got to give the benefit of the doubt to these players are playing on the tour week in and week out. They're not here trying to cheat anybody. She's a very credible golfer. She's, no got, she's got the best golf ahead of her. And, you know, they got cameras everywhere. This girl's not trying to intentionally do anything. And a lot of these fans are overzealous. And I, I say this, Skeeter, with all the security issues around the world, a lot of times, you know, for, for safety, they have a lot of access to players, unlike football, where they have uniforms on and helmets and all that stuff, and baseball where they got bats, uh, golfers are very vulnerable out there. There's no question. Let me say this about that. I'll guarantee you that you can go and look at every player all the time. And on the ladies' tour, the men's tour, it doesn't matter who it is. When they mark their ball and they go back, and they it, sometimes it's three or four or five minutes before they ever putt again. Right. And they put that ball back. I will guarantee you it is not in the exact spot.
spot every time. Mm-hmm. It can't be. Right. So for you, and does, does that mean the guy's cheating? No, it does not. Mm-hmm. No, it does not. So I think that it's gotten totally out of hand. And this started a long time ago with Craig Stadler. He put a towel down at, at the San Diego Open at Torrey Pines. He put a towel down so he had on yellow pants, got on his knees and hit a shot out from under a tree. Some guy called in. And he got disqualified because, and she would have gotten, and, and she got disqualified because um, he signed a wrong scorecard. And later that night, they went back and said he built his stance because he put a towel under his knee. So he didn't get his, but now they've changed the rule that you're not disqualified, and that happened a few weeks ago about signing the wrong card. So. You know, Do you like that? It, I mean, I, I wish they would just, with all the computers we got now, the technology, that's a lot of work for these players still to keep track of their own cards. I mean, can't we evolve past that? I, you know, I think that what's happened is it's gotten to um, the game. You know, the game has got so much integrity. You look at guys all the time calling penalties on themselves on the tour. Well, you know, it costs them a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, if they call a shot on, their, on two shots on themselves or whatever, it costs them money, and they're caught doing that. So I think the integrity of the game is great. I think the people that are trying to make a name for themselves sitting at home, I think that's wrong. I think that we need to take the game back in our hands. Right. Talking to Skeeter Heath, former PGA Tour golfer. Skeeter, what are your thoughts on the health of golf locally in Hampton Roads as well as the health of it on the tour as far as the popularity, the interest as far as the women's tour, the seniors, and the men's tour as far as the health of it, television, and so forth? I mean, looking at the Masters on high-definition television is awesome. Yeah, it is. I think, um, you know, the golf has, has, you know, it has taken a, a fall in the last 10 years. I think now it's getting healthy again. I think one of the reasons is is the economy's better. The economy's getting better. People are getting a little more free money, um, and people are getting where they can play golf. You know, golf is not a necessity. It's a luxury. Mm-hmm. And people, as you well know, uh, this we've had a rough go the last 10 years or so with the economy. Things are starting to feel, get better, and I think that um, – with things get better with the economy, things will get better with golf. And I think with the new young guys that you have, as you spoke about earlier, when you have you know the Jordan Spieth, the Roy McIlroys, the Thomas Peters, the Ricky Fowlers, the Justin Thomas, um, all these young guys, Hideki Matsuyama, I mean, all these young guys are in their 20s. And I think that's real healthy for the game. Yeah, I tell you, way back in, you know, you know, you look at the U.S. Opens in the past, how Hale Irwin won it in his 40s. I remember I was there at Medina. It was just a great spectacle. Will you see somebody like Jack or Hale Irwin, a younger guy, like a version of them winning a major well into their late 40s? I mean, I guess Phil still possibly could do it. Yeah, I, it wouldn't surprise me if Phil um, didn't win another major. I mean, Phil's been playing some really good golf. Mm-hmm. Um he, you know, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Phil is still very long off the tee, for his age. It's it's, it's pretty phenomenal what he does. Right, and he still puts. He's got a great short game, and you know, you'll see some guys. I think Phil is the is the one that you will see um, has a chance to win a major in their late forties. I think he'll be the oldest guy because one of the things that's different now, Greg, is that. There are so many good players this day and time. It's like Tiger now. These young guys, 10 or 15 years ago, they were scared to death of Tiger. These guys out there now with McElroy and Jason Day and and Justin and Jordan and Ricky, they, they're not scared of anybody. Nope, not at all. They're not intimidated. They're not intimidated by Tiger. They're not intimidated by Phil. They're not intimidated by anyone. You made the uh, cut, of course, at uh, Kings Mill way back in the early 80s when Calvin Pete, I believe, won it in 83. Of course, he won it in 82 and 83. He was a dear friend of yours. What do you expect for the course upcoming next month for the women? Has it changed a lot since when you played back in the heyday? Because the river course has always been pretty steady. They haven't tweaked it but so much. You know, I think that um, that they've made it more playable, which makes more sense being in a resort club. 
Mm-hmm. You know, people come here. People like to play courses that a PGA Tour event or an LPGA Tour event have been on. And I think that um, they softened up some of the fairways there. Um, it's always in great condition. It's a great golf course. I think it's a it's a wonderful golf course for um, an LPGA event. Um, this day and time, you know, Calvin was not a very long hitter. It's what we go back to like a harbor town. Kingsville is not considered a very long golf course in this in this era. Um, you know, look at Augusta, 76, 7,700, all the courses now, 76, 7,800, 7,500. You know, Kings Mills, 7,000, 6,900, 7,000. Well, you know, these guys, they just overpower that. They turn all the par fives into par fours when the courses are like that. And, of course, the Kings Mill, you know, you look at the two par fives on the back nine at Augusta, they're very unique. They're 545 and 510. You know, they can go for it and two if they drive it in the right spot it's a big risk reward there and they're great par fives but you go to the par fives at king's mill they don't have that risk reward factor for a professional that a place like augusta can get away with a 550 yard par five so to me i think it's a great venue and a great course for an lpga event right tell the uh, fans what are you doing today in golf well, now, you know, we have uh, the Williamsburg Golf Club that we've had since 2009, and um, we're always working on that, and we're very proud of that. And we've had quite a few of the big state events here in uh, the last three or four years. And so uh, with the club at, at the Williamsburg Golf Club, we're, you know, it's uh, keeping me busy, that in the trash business. And um, I'm enjoying myself and uh, ready for the season to come along and uh, watch all the members come out and play and enjoy themselves. All right, we'll talk to you before the next major skeeter. Always good to catch up with you, my friend. Continued health for you and your family, and have a great rest of the day. All right, thank you so much, Greg. Anytime, and uh, come see us. My pleasure. Thank you, right, Skeeter. Thank Will you. do. Right, bye-bye. Okay, Skeeter Heath, former PGA Tour player. Catch the new wave as your Norfolk Tides take the field at beautiful Harbor Park. They are there. 25th anniversary. Bring your friends and family to root on the Orioles of tomorrow. Log on to NorfolkTides.com for more information on season tickets, groups, and merchandise. Follow the Tides on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date promotions and player moves. Tides Baseball, C the green hope you enjoyed skeeter heath right there former pga tour golfer right there on sports scene don't forget we archive the show on gjbtv.com click the big youtube link for archive shows for joe daniel greg bicavera sports scene continues after the news break right here on 1650 a.m and tune in.com interact with sports scene on twitter at greg bick email the show bico gb at hotmail.com now back to greg bicavaris in the hampton roads online mall.com studios it's now time for greg's highlights presented by hampton roads online mall.com at greg bick on twitter hope you enjoyed that nice interview with skeeter heath former pga tour golfer from the greater hampton roads area don't forget gjbtv.com hit the youtube link for archive shows this show will be archived later tonight visit all the pages of gjbtv.com and hampton roads online mall.com where you can see our great sponsor the mark's been on as well save the date we'll be back next wednesday from 12 to 1 for a sports scene hampton roads online mall.com browse shop visit great restaurants, retail, marketplace, and of course a lot of great pages on Hampton Roads Online Mall. Dot com. Also, it's lunchtime. Great place to go to is Panera right there. 100% of our food is 100% clean. Food as it should be. That's food they think tastes better, feels better, does better. It's clean food. Food without artificial preservatives, sweeteners, flavors, or colors from artificial sources as well. They've got excellent catering. They've got rapid pickup. they got delivery, delicious soups, sandwiches, salads, breakfast, bagels, beverages, smoothies. They've got it all in Harborview in Suffolk. Go by and see Christian and the great staff seven days a week at 6255 College Drive. And of course, go to PaneraBread.com. Great place to get fresh bread is Panera. Great soups, salads, sandwiches. Give them a call at 483-3670. That's 483-3670. Open seven days a week is Panera Bread and the great staff over in Harborview. Well, we had this gentleman on last month. We got him on back once again. We will 
every month. And next month, the month of May, he'll come here in the studio. Let's welcome from the Marksman and Newport News, George McLean, the owner, general manager, and firearms instructor. How are you, George? Uh, doing good, Greg. How about yourself? Very good, my friend. Very good, of course. Uh, you specialize, before we talk about some other topics, indoor shooting, of course, firearm sales, professional training, and, of course, you're open seven days a week. That is correct. Well, tell us about the Marksman. You've had it for several years now. Well, uh, true. I have uh, took over as GM back in 2010 and made the purchase uh, of the business in 2012. And we've been trying to, uh, you know, find out what our, our customers uh, really want and get the business, you know, styled in, in that direction. So we've you know, diversified uh, a little bit uh, and tried to become the one-stop shop. So, you know, even if you've never fired a gun, you can come in and take your professional uh, instruction from our licensed, uh, you know, in- instructors. Uh, find out what kind of firearm you like before you make a, you know, a purchase, uh, so you're not wasting your money on that. And going into the range and uh, you know, being able to shoot. And uh, so as far as the, the training goes, you know, we can take you from uh, again zero experience. We have a, a firearms uh, training simulator, so it uses not plastic guns, but these are real, uh, you know, Glocks and Berettas uh, that have been modified with uh, with lasers. Uh, recoils about half of uh, the original gun but you can do all this on the simulator before we even get you into a live fire range so we can take you as fast or as slow as you as you need to go in the training with all the stuff going on around the country and around the world and it's good to have a professional train somebody with guns as well it'll tell us about how you're involved with the criminal justice and security institute well, that that is our, our training side of the house. Uh, the, our, our parent company is American Millennium Group. Uh, the, the marksman is pretty much the retail uh, side of the business and, and the range. And uh, you know, the Criminal Justice and Security Institute is our uh, state licensed uh, security training uh, school. So we we train uh, armed and unarmed uh, you know, security guards, special conservators of the peace, private investigators. Uh, bail bondsmen, bounty hunters, uh, you name it. So there's about 11 categories that uh, that we're certified to uh, teach, and uh, yeah, so a lot of people are getting into the you know the the, the security uh, career field. Uh, this is where you want to come. This is where you uh, you want to get your training. And this you know, we also have you know con- or training contracts for the city of Newport News and for uh, Huntington Ingalls, which is uh, Newport News. Uh, shipyard so a little moniker that we like to use is come and train where the professionals train because these are the people that are, are paid to you know guard our uh you know government uh, uh secrets or your interest in, in the you know department of defense area when it comes to ships and uh you know some subs that they have down here and this is where uh you know those those folks you know, get their training so if it's good enough for them, you know, uh, anybody coming off the street, this is where you need to look. And, of course, the proper training is efficient. As we're talking to George McLean, he's the owner and general manager of the Marksman at 520 Industrial Park Drive near the Fort Eustis section of Newport News. Give them a call at 872-4130. You can Google the Marksman and see their great website as well, v-marksman.com. Open seven days a week, as well as we're talking to George McLean. There really is something for everyone there, too, George, whether it's the single woman who's trying to protect her kid or somebody who just uh, wants to have a gun and learn about how to use it properly the military person the police officer or the hunter as well for hunting season uh that's very true uh, very true and, and uh with about each one of those groups that you just uh rattled off there you know we give you know certain discounts and there's certain days of the month that you actually get you know some free range time so you know, military it's like the first and the 15th of the month uh, so there's no range fee uh, that day. Uh, law enforcement, uh, I think we use the same day on that, or the 24th, I think, maybe the month that they can come in and shoot uh, with with no range fee. Uh, so we, we we try to you know work at you know, where we appreciate our, our customer base uh, you know, within the, the city and the surrounding communities, not just Newport News, but you know Williamsburg, uh, you know, York County. Uh, Hampton, you know, a lot of these folks and a lot of military are coming in and taking advantage of that. And uh, every Tuesday we run a two for Tuesday deal, so it's basically you know bring a buddy, and you get two for the price of one. So it's you know we we, we try to uh, uh, do everything we we can to make it you know, uh, worthwhile and cost effective for you to you know come in 
and you know, once you have your training to you know, practice with your firearm, uh, you know, it does you no good uh, if you just shoot it you know, once every year or two because everything's probably <laughs> probably going to be rusted up and your guns need you know, clean or the ammo's getting uh, oil soaked in it and it's going to misfire. So, you know, stay, stay current, stay proficient. That's you know, kind of what we, we preach. Talking to George McClain, the owner of the Marksman, how do you know when to get a new gun, George? How do you know, like anything else, whether a car needs an oil change or new tires? How do you know when to get a new rifle or gun? Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's kind of uh, an emotional thing. But, you know, as long as the gun is not damaged, uh, and if it's taken care of and, and cleaned and properly located, you know, guns are going to last you know, for forever. So the, the gun's not going to change. What's going to change is your likes or dislikes, mm-hmm. or you may see something else, you know, come on the market. And you know, it's uh, you're going to look at it and say, "Well, yeah, that looks cool. I think I'd like to have that." As far as the gun itself, again, if it's taken care of, barring any you know, mechanical malfunction, anything you know made uh, of, of you know metal and plastic, you know, over a period of time, it can uh, some parts can break. And if if it starts doing that, uh, it, that that would be a gun that is seen some very heavy use. And at that point, if that's the type of shooting that you're doing, you know, that regularly, uh, if, if it's, you start getting, you know, a malfunction uh, every time you take the gun out to use it, it's probably time to have a gunsmith take a look at it and get their, you know, opinion. Is this, you know, fixable? Is, is this shooter-induced or is it something with the firearm? And then what's the cost of uh, your replacing or, or repairing it versus cost of you know, replacing with a, with a different firearm? So, you know, most of the people that we see do not shoot uh, a gun that much, that would be one that's uh, used like we use our, our rental guns here. They get shot uh, a, a lot. So we have to stay up on the maintenance on those. And so we, we kind of take a look. You know, once it gets you know, uh, to the point that we're, we're seeing uh, you know, repeated you know, failures, we'll, we'll you know, replace the gun because we want our customers not to have to worry about that when they rent that gun to go on the range and shoot. Pretty much family-owned and operated. The Marksman right there at 520 Industrial Park Drive. George, tell the listeners and the people out there listening on live radio and on TuneIn right now about when they first walk in, they see the beautiful showroom, they see the sales, then, of course, right there, the uh, range, and they can sign up for classes. They can do pretty much everything right there on the front end. Uh, very true. Uh, again, you know, we, we try to make it a one-stop shop. Uh, so you can come in. We we have guys and gals. Uh, you're working behind the counter. So you know, for for the the, the women folk out there that think I'm I'm not going to go in a place like that. That's that's a man's world. It, it really isn't. Uh, we we have a tremendous uh, female response uh, coming in, wanting uh, you know training uh, questions about firearms, and you know, we, we've got you know, very highly trained uh, individuals behind the counter. Uh, again, male and female. So, and if you're not comfortable talking with the male guys. Just you know, tell them you got you got a gal I can talk to, and uh, if there's not one there, we'll we'll get one up there uh, that uh, will be able to uh, to answer your questions. So uh, it, it, we we're not a high pressure sales uh, force. You know, we're not. I don't want to push a gun. My folks are not going to push a gun on on somebody without knowing something uh, about them. So we again would rather get you in for the training. And let you decide, you know, during this training, you, you can shoot four, five, six, you know, ten different guns if that's what you want to do. Find the one that you like. You know, it's, you know we're, we're not going to push one on you. It's, you know, you, you need to find one that, uh, that you can shoot, that you like to shoot, because if you like to shoot it, you're going to shoot it often, and you're going to stay proficient. And that's the key. Right. There's a lot of background checks they go through. You guys are all certified. Tell us about some of the steps that you go through, because it's not just the physical part, which is demanding enough. It's also the emotional part. Make sure they're of good character and they pass all the proper background checks, whether they're a police officer, a hunter, a fireman, whatever. Uh, people, more and more people are carrying guns and uh, as well. Well, and, and that goes on both sides of the counter. You know, all the salespeople up here have to be licensed by the state. So there's a background check that they have to undergo. Uh, they're you know issued a, a sales license uh, so that we, we can sell firearms, and then for people coming in to, to purchase, uh, obviously there's you know the the federal 4473 uh, form that needs to be you know, filled out, uh, and then the state form uh, also needs to be filled out, and then you undergo uh, the, the background check. It's called the next check. And uh, that goes you know, into the computer, so the backgrounds check several databases, uh, you know, that is, is looked at on that before 
you can you know take possession of that firearm. But even at that, at that, now you got possession of it. But if you've never got the proper training, you know you get into what I call you know a, a false sense of security. A lot of people buy a gun uh, without the proper training, and they may be inclined to do something which we preach in our concealed classes. Don't do it. If if you're ever going to do anything, you say, well, it, it, it's okay. Uh, because I have my gun. It, it's never okay because you have your gun. If you wouldn't do it before you got your gun, why would you want to do it now? You know, when we talk about self-defense, 90% of self-defense is avoiding those situations that might cause you to have to use, you know, lethal force to defend yourself to start with. So, you know, a lot of it's more uh, in, in the mind than, you know, anything else. It's 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 a way of life, and you have to look at things, you know, a little bit differently, and it's it's to live safely. You know, be aware of your surroundings and don't put yourself in jeopardy. All right, George McLean, owner, general manager, firearms instructor, right there at 520 Industrial Park Drive of the Marksman. You can Google it. They specialize in shooting range, firearm sales, training as well. Open seven days a week. Like them on Facebook as well. Uh, George, we'll be talking to you in the studio next month, and have a great rest of the day. And uh, hope everybody goes out to the Marksman to learn proper gun safety and control. Okay, well, Greg, sounds uh, sounds good. Looking forward to uh, visiting with you uh, next month. Uh, everyone uh, enjoy the, the rest of the week in this beautiful weather. Absolutely. George, say hello to all the great staff there as well. Will do. You take uh, care. Very good. All right, George McClain and Joe Daniel, that's so important about proper gun safety and control. And it's great to talk to a nice gentleman like that who really has everything together there. Absolutely. And I was just thinking that, too. Uh, I love the way he said it. You kind of have a, f- you, you very much do have a false sense of security just because you're carrying uh, a tool, a very beneficial tool at times, it could be just as dangerous uh, if used improperly, obviously. And so you have this false sense of security, just I'm protecting myself when in reality it could be your downfall. Right. Look what happened to a former NFL player, Plaxico Burris, accidentally shot himself several years ago. You have to have proper gun safety and control. All right. A local tradition is CP Shockers with locations on Shore Drive and Pacific Avenue. People love their prime rib, seafood, and much more. They have NASCAR, including the big race in Richmond coming up in a few weeks. They've got Major League Baseball, NHL playoffs, NBA playoffs, all the games all the time. Of course, uh, soccer, golf, tennis. Like both locations on Facebook. Log on to cpshuckers.com. See their menu and great events coming up. Eat or be eaten at CP Shuckers. Go by and see Matt, Mark, Chris, and all the great staff. They got bar bites on Wednesday at Shore Drive. Great appetizers, burgers, pasta, seafood, salads right there. Of course, bar bites by Chef Leon at Shore Drive. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more sports scene after these messages. Nor'easter season is here. So don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Mi Hogar is your restaurant for the finest Mexican cuisine in Hampton Roads. At Mi Hogar, everything is prepared fresh in a casual atmosphere. Enjoy traditional favorites such as quesadillas, tacos, burritos, and fajitas, as well as refreshing beverages. Mi Hogar has two locations, 4201 Granby Street in Norfolk and 801 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake. Call ahead at 640-7705. At Mi Hogar, there is something for everyone. Mark your calendar for June 1st through June 4th as Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Newport News presents the Newport News Greek Festival. Enjoy authentic Greek food, desserts, beverages, music, dancing, arts and crafts, and much more. This is the 50th anniversary of this signature event on the peninsula, and it will be special. The Newport News Greek Festival is located at 60 Travis Road, off exit 258B on Route 17 in Newport News. For more, log on to newportnewsgreekfestival.org. When it comes to automobile service in Hampton Roads, Fink's Car Care is the destination locals have counted on for decades. Family owned and operated, they specialize in transmission service, oil changes, state inspection, radiator service, tires, alignments, and showcase win automotive products. Fink's does it all. Military and senior discounts are available. Like them on Facebook and visit them at 2711 Victory Boulevard in Portsmouth. For more, log on to Fink'sCarCare.com and call 485-5555 today. 
Now back to Greg McAvaris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. I just love this music right here, Joe Daniel. It's just great music here. I think it should be your theme music for you and Tim as well. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Maybe. All right. Soprano Italian Restaurant welcomes you to their establishment. Enjoy unforgettable appetizers, subs, pizza, Italian dinners, and ask about their pizza special. Call 930-2350 and visit SopranoItalianRestaurant.com. CNU senior military discounts are available, and they do catering and delivery. Soprano is located near Hidenwood at 12588 Wark Boulevard in Newport News and is open daily for you. Go by and see Moody and the great staff as well. All right, let's welcome back former jock from FM 99, of course, commentator, real estate agent, of course, involved with the food bank. Let's welcome back Andy Cohen, part-time comedian. How are you, buddy? I'm doing well. How are you, Greg? Very good. Big day coming up tomorrow. Let's talk about it. Oh, huge day. Tastefully yours, the 24th annual, and it's going to be from 6 to 9.30 p.m., at the Hampton Roads Convention Center in Hampton. We've got 40 restaurants. We've got live music, DJ for dancing. We've got photo booths. We've got uh, craft beers, wines, funny money gambling tables. It is a wonderful time. Well, let's talk about it. It's been around for a long time. It's really sustained, and it's really going to a good, worthwhile cause that people can benefit from. Each each $50 ticket provides approximately 200 meals to people in need in the community. So you can have a wonderful time and do a lot of good. How did you get involved in it, Andy? I've been involved with the food bank for many, many years. I, I guess about uh, probably about 28, 30 years. Uh, and it's just treating people so basic. I mean, right. It's a basic need, and it's something that can easily be done. The food is there. It's just a matter of accessing it and getting it to where it needs to go. So it is a great organization. Over 10 million pounds of food a year get back into the community to people in need. We have educational programs to teach people about nutrition, food preparation. So it's not just handing out food. It's enabling people to become self-sufficient. Great program. Right. Of course, you have programs year-round, but this is the big event. Talk about it again. The hours tomorrow, the location right there in Hampton. It's from 6 to 9 p.m. or 6 to 9.30 at the Hampton Roads Convention Center in Hampton. Tickets are $50 in advance, which is today. Uh, Tomorrow they go up to $60. Tickets are available at hrfoodbank.org that's hrfoodbank.org and uh, you can't imagine a better time for $50 you get fantastic food craft beers wine and lots of fun so we encourage everybody to come out we get a couple thousand people and same people can come back after year after year, and then more people come as well when they hear about Right. It's a great indoor event tomorrow. Andy, all the best. We'll see you out there and continue success. You'll come here in the studio in a few months, and we'll talk about some of the comedy and some of the sports you've been involved in over the years, my friend. Thank you. Sounds like fun. Thank you for all that you do, and uh, have a great rest of the day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Andy Cohen right there, of course. Don't forget our good friends at Outback Steakhouse in Virginia Beach right there at 1255 Fordham Drive in Kempsville. 523-4832 is the phone number. Delicious appetizers, entrees, breads, desserts, seafood, pasta, steaks, burgers right there. Right in the heart of Virginia Beach is Outback. Great dining room as well for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Stop what you're doing. Go by and get a great bite. Your Easter headquarters is Outback Steakhouse at uh, 1255 Fordham Drive right there. Of course, Mother's Day coming up as well. Father's Day, college graduation celebrated with Mike and the great staff at Outback Steakhouse, 1255 Fordham Drive in the Kempsville section of Virginia Beach. All right, let's get to what tees me off. What Tees You Off, presented by GJBTV.com. And one more, don't forget Community Day at Buffalo Wild Wings in Newport News. Bring your friends, family, and teammates to Buffalo Wild Wings on April 19th. That's next 
Wednesday, 10% of the sales will go to the Boys and Girls Club, of course, right there at 12150 Jefferson Avenue. The phone number is 249-3999. Go by and see Paul and the great staff of Buffalo Wild Wings in Newport News, the biggest restaurant on the peninsula. Wings, beer, sports, wall-to-wall TVs. Watch all the great sporting events all the time at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get some great burgers. they got a great seasonal menu, excellent wings, of course, uh, pasta as far as salad they've got excellent fried pickles right there at buffalo wild wings right there in newport news community day april 19th 10 percent of the sales will go to the boys and girls club as well and of course uh, buffalo wild wings dot com all right what teased me off joe daniel red ink pens for grading papers but usually sharpies make the point what is the point of red ink pens it's uh, it stands out. My my English teacher always uses a green pen, and I like that. It's a lot softer on the eyes. It's a lot. Uh, it's friendlier as opposed to a the evil red pen. But when you type in red on the computer, people think you're angry. Oh no, that's that's fully rage induced. Wow. Speech if it's, you're typing in red, maybe somebody just likes red or purple. For goodness gracious! <laughs> All right, when you're being tailgated by a car, we talked about this, and they pass you, and then they go slow themselves. Yeah, yeah, that happens to me. Probably at least once or two times uh, a week. Mm -hmm. Insane. (laughs) Stray stray pets. Nothing worse than seeing stray pets. Oh, man. That's super sad. Yeah, just to see a wandering dog, no collar or anything. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. And not to mention that, too. Neighbors that have loud barking dogs, you have to really feel for people that live in apartments or condos as well. Yeah, yeah, loud dogs, and it's always the little yippy ones too. It's always, yeah. the, and they always have like two or three of them where they're just constantly just chapping, uh, yipping around. It's one thing if you live in a house and you hear them occasionally down the street, but when you're in a yeah, par- dogs bark. I understand and, that, and yeah. I've got a house, so it's not that big of a deal. But I, anytime I go in my backyard, it seems like all the dogs just know it. So it's like, <laughs> and they're all they're all saying, "Hey, yeah. Greg." <laughs> Yeah, it's like the German Shepherd see me as a big piece of meat on the butcher shop. <laughs> How about this nosy neighbors? Oh my gosh! Yeah, the the people who uh, kind of peek over the fence or in between the the slots of the of the fence, and they kind of what's that guy doing over there? Exactly. <laughs> and how about this too, as well? Um, taxes on everything. It seems like there's a lot of discrepancies when it's when it comes to taxes, as far as food, groceries, etc. Man, tax, tax, tax. From the moment you wake up to the moment you die Mm -hmm. there's taxes and it's crazy absolutely of course we mentioned too so many great places so many great sponsors too and of course how about the dramatic dictator the crazy guy in syria he needs to be gone yeah i i I don't even know how to really respond to that that's just exactly how you phrase it pretty much it's he needs to be gone (laughs) absolutely and i mentioned too earlier too about our our great community day at buffalo wild wings april 19th 10 percent of the sales from the newport news location going to the boys and girls club people say do they have stuff for kids yes they got pasta they got macaroni and cheese and you know this joe daniel your kids like macaroni and cheese as well oh yes they do yeah that four cheese mac and cheese absolutely and kids love it too adults love it now now you you can't even go to just like a any other family restaurant there's always that macaroni and cheese staple. It's right. A, it's American. All right. At Greg Bick on Twitter. That's G-R-E-G-B-I-C. Follow me 24-7, seven days a week. GJBTV.com. Hit the YouTube link for archive shows. I want to thank Skeeter Heath as well as our great guest today, uh, George McLean, Andy Cohen, and all the great topics. Great job by Joe Daniel and all of our wonderful sponsors as well. We'll talk to you next Wednesday. For Joe Daniel, I'm Greg Bickaveras. Happy Wednesday. Enjoy the nice weather. We'll talk to you soon. The best of News Talk Radio in Hampton Roads, AM 1650, WHKT Portsmouth. We are the answer.